Hi there, Rob Mungin, Team Green Mountain Smoke Shack. Welcome to part six of our series on how to set up a stoker. And this, this segment is going to be dealing with um, what we do in barbecue contests when we want wireless access to the stoker and there is no internet access. And basically what I have here is a spare router that I got off eBay, now 25, 30 bucks to sit Linksys WRT54G. And what we're going to do is just set up this router um, with basic security and hook it up to our, um, our stoker and then um, we should be able to access it from anywhere within the immediate range um, within the, co uh, the contest itself. So let's get back to the computer. Okay, here we are on our laptop and what I want to do is, like again, disconnect from any network that I'm currently on. Looks like I'm attached here to my wireless. Let's disconnect. Yes. Okay, out of there. Now what I'm going to do is plug in the computer to one of the router's LAN ports. There's four ports for LAN. There's one marked WAN or W-A-N. You do not want WAN. All we're going to do is set up this router and I'm going to plug this into my Ethernet port here. and turn the router on. There we go. Let's see, it's looking for address. They got the address. Now we got to go to the router configuration page. This is a brand new router, or it's a used router, but I reset it, so it, it, it's just like it was out of the box. Okay, server not found, yes, because there's no internet connection, obviously. Not going to find anything. So we can find the, let's find the router here. It's 192.168.1.1. Uh, default for Linksys is username blank password admin. Okay, here we are. Basic router right out of the box. All we're going to do is set up a uh, wireless. Let's change the SSID to something else, like maybe stoker underscore net. Save. Okay. Security. We definitely want security here because someone could essentially connect to your stoker and make you have a really bad night at a contest if they so were inclined. So let's just do some basic web passphrase. Something stupid like, um, I don't know, S1. And we'll generate some code. All right, so take down one of those key codes, A174, A174. Four eight nine five three C. Four eight nine five three C. All right. Save. Okay, now we have basic security set up on the router, which is great. Now what I'm going to do is unplug the router from the um, Ethernet port on this machine, so therefore it won't be able to see this anymore. Okay, I should be able to see that wireless network now if I go view. Available networks. StokerNet. All right. Let's 
probably trying to connect and it's wondering about the passcode. Okay, it finally timed out. So in order for us to set a password to get to that network, we have to go start, settings, control panel, network connections, local area network, or actually wireless, right click, properties, um, wireless network tab here, Stoker net, properties, network key. All right, let's put that key in here. It's A174488. Five three C. A one seven four. Four eight nine. Five three. C. Okay. Over here again. They're automatically connected, so, and it's a wireless connection, so in theory I should be able to see the router again, even though that there's no cable connected to it, so 192.168.1.1, okay. All right, so we're able to access our router wirelessly. And what I'm going to do now is plug the stoker into the router. Or, yeah, plug the stoker into the router. Now, you remember from the last session, what we did is we set a static IP address on the stoker, and it was 192.168.1.1. And Stoker's coming up right now. Okay, Stoker should be online. So let's take a look at what we have here. 192, 168, 1. Uh, 102, right? Yeah. 102. There we go. And that's it, pretty much. Um, all you have to do is keep the router, the wireless router near the stoker, and um, you can bring your laptop anywhere you want. That's pretty much it. Thanks for joining me. Um, if you have any questions, just email me. Um, there's notes in the, um, the back end of the show, so have fun.